According to Elon Musk, social media is destroying society. These platforms are designed to unite people, but instead they are dividing people and destabilizing our society. If social media develops in this way, we are all doomed. Elon Musk is very concerned about this trend as a person concerned with the collective consciousness of man. When it comes to some topics, Elon Musk is a very divisive figure. He is against social media, not only for personal reasons, but also because it is destroying society. Since he purchased Twitter, that doesn't make any sense, right? The situation goes beyond simple presumptions. You need to be aware of how social media is destroying society and use caution when using it. Social media has gained enormous popularity across almost the entire planet. In fact, 4.74 billion people used social media globally in October 2022, according to Kepios. Representing 59.3% of the entire world's population, these figures indicate that social media is a good platform for users to explore and interact with others, but the opposite is actually true. In the world, there are more than a dozen social media platforms. The most well-known ones are still TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Elon Musk specifically cites these platforms as contributing to society's decline. He doesn't hide the fact that he despises social media whenever he is given a platform to express his views. Social media was intended to serve as a platform for virtual connections between individuals worldwide. However, the negative side effects have attempted to outweigh the positive aspects of social media. Elon Musk discussed his opinion that Instagram is ruining society in a podcast episode of The Joe Rogan Experience. Based on helpguide.org, not just Instagram users, but all social media users create false realities that increase the risk of depression, anxiety, loneliness, self-harm, and even suicidal thoughts. People have come forward in a number of instances to attest that these side effects are real and not just statistics. An illustration of such people is Destiny. She started using Instagram when she was 13, and by the time she was 22, it was known that she had anxiety. She is only one among many. More power than they could have imagined has been accumulated by social media's top figures. Their user base dwarfs those of the biggest nations in the world. Like all other community leaders, these CEOs are in charge of overseeing the citizens of their community. Unfortunately for the communities, the CEOs haven't done what they should have been doing. The use of hate speech in social media feeds is on the rise. Instead of taking accountability, the executives argue that hate speech is protected by the First Amendment because platforms like theirs merely distribute media. Never mind that news is frequently shared via tweets and Facebook posts. Through their ill-justified protection of hate speech, social media platforms are also destroying society. Facebook and similar platforms have done a terrible job of limiting the amount of hate speech on the site. The platform failed once more to catch violent hate speech in a 2022 Global Witness and Fox Club advertisement. The hateful messages were primarily directed at Ethiopia, according to internal documents obtained by whistleblower Francis Haugen who claimed in a congressional testimony in 2021 that Facebook's ineffective moderation is encouraging ethnic violence. Similar testing was done in March by Global Witness using hate speech in Myanmar, which Facebook also failed to pick up on. These incidents may trigger serious assaults that result in extremely violent behavior. However, just as free speech poses a danger to society, there ought to be a form where people can express their opinions without fear of ridicule. Elon Musk has expressed his opinions on platforms that restrict free speech on a number of occasions. Elon explained why Twitter as a platform has not succeeded in fostering free speech in an interview with the CEO of Ted Chris Anderson. Well, I believe it's crucial for a welcoming environment for free speech, he said. People must believe that they can speak freely within the boundaries of the law on Twitter because it has essentially become the de facto town square. People are constrained in what they can post on social media platforms as a result of this not being available, making it difficult for them to freely express their concerns on urgent issues. 
One in eight Facebook users report compulsive use of social media, which affects their sleep, work relationships, and parenting, according to data reviewed by Wall Street Journal staff for an article. Facebook asserts that the article that continued use of the platform does not constitute clinical addiction because it has no similar effect on the brain to substance abuse and gambling. However, a number of studies have shown that social media use has a significant negative impact on users' brains. Side effects include depression, eating disorders, anxiety, low self-worth, and low self-esteem. On June 17, the multi-billionaire also discussed his views on the video app TikTok. In less than a day, the tweet challenging the detrimental effects of TikTok on society received more than 23,000 retweets and 250,000 likes. The PayPal founder went on to say that TikTok is just one of the factors harming the company, or perhaps social media in general. Elon Musk is not a big fan of social media, which is not a secret. He spends more than 16 hours a day working, and in order to do so, he must avoid social media. Social media companies build user profiles based on the numerous interactions that users have on the platform. Every post, like, and retweet you make is saved in your user profile. These businesses are able to serve targeted advertisements that are based on the individual interests of their users thanks to user profiles. Social media platforms simply display advertisements to users who are most likely to click on them. These specifically targeted ads generate high conversion rates, which advertisers find appealing. Users typically receive little to no information when their data is sold to third-party platforms. In 2018, a whistleblower exposed Facebook's sale of millions of users' data to the third-party data collection firm Cambridge Analytica. These information included the personal data of each user, as well as their political and religious affiliations. Despite having total control over Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg remained silent for nearly five days. Later, he offered a half-hearted apology, which only served to confirm for many people, including Elon Musk, that Facebook doesn't care about the privacy of its users and will do whatever it takes to make money off of them. The goal of social media companies as a platform to connect users globally still needs to be accomplished. Instead, it now poses a threat to the advancement of society. Elon Musk is not the only person who holds this opinion, as numerous research papers have shown. However, the following actions are up to everyone. 